All right, I'm off to lunch with my friend Layla, and I tried curling my hair with a wand and a, I don't know, and I did, I'm wearing false lashes. I don't know how I feel about that. I followed a tutorial that I will link below. I did not come up with this eye look on my own. I cannot take any credit for it. I cannot do a tutorial on it, but I can link the person who already did. Um, I, this I like, I like this. Anyway, I want you to see the hot mess that is my bathroom after I've attempted to do my makeup, do my hair, and do Instagram Live at the same time. Like, what happened here? Ignore my bra. Bam! Like, explosion and mess. Who am I to lecture my children about cleaning their room? Uh, I'm the mom, that's it. Okay, so I'm off to lunch, and I will see you when I get there. I have to go feed my doggies first. And, um, and lock them up so they don't destroy my house. And I'll see you at lunch. Your hair looks awesome. I wanna, no, I wanna ask you how you, uh, that's the perfect girl how you get. Okay, hey guys, um, so we had a nice little, we're gonna trade hair secret. I tried using a, a curling wand and I'm not, I'm not digging. It's cute. I don't like, I like the ends. The ends are the only thing that I like about yeah. this. It's too, too, anyway, we are at Whiskey Cake. This is my friend Layla. You met her before at the anniversary sale. And um, what is that? This is like a Thai cashew sandwich. Doesn't it look like it's, I don't know how you're going to get that in your mouth. I'm not. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I got my usual, I always order the same thing here. I got fried green tomatoes. And my goal is to only eat two to three of them and take the rest home for dinner. <laughs> we'll see if I stick to that, but that's my goal. So, with the remoulade sauce and a nice tea. It's a nice ladies' lunch. I know. All right, I'm gonna go drill her and find out how you. That's like the perfect way. Yeah, I'll let you know. All right, I'm back from lunch. I have my leftovers. It's good. Um, did a little shopping spree. Not really. I picked up. The mascara that Makeup by Tiffany D has been raving about, the Sephora brand, a Lash Craft Big Volume. I'll let you know. I picked up the new YSL, oh, what is it in English? Why is it in French? Um, matte Stain. Shade 11. I'll let you know about that. And I picked up Wonder Brow. I don't know where I put it. Where did I put it? I don't even know where it is. I gotta go. I like literally, I just put it on. I don't even know where I set it down. Did Rowdy, did you eat it? I gotta go look for it. Uh, I ripped off my false lashes. I just couldn't take it anymore. And it is so humid and disgusting out. I just want my hair up in a clip. I want this off. I want to be on a, in a t-shirt and something like less, like in a breathable fabric. So I hope you enjoyed this outfit. It's going. Bye-bye. It's just one of those days. It's so gross out. Okay. I'm changing. Good morning. It's Tuesday. Despite the sunlight coming in, it's actually raining. Started off on a high note. Tomorrow's Rowdy's first birthday. He's like, he's made it this far. I left my hat right there, right here on the counter. I need a new old Miss hat now. Look what he did, little. Yeah. Anyway, I am off to do something decadent for the middle of the day on a Tuesday. I am off to see Home Again, the new Reese Witherspoon movie with my best friend Lee uh, in the middle of the day because why not? Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go don my rain boots. Best, possibly best Nordstrom anniversary sale purchase I made because they are still not on sale. They've not gone on sale. Some things have. Oh my God, what has gone on in this closet? Also, second best purchase was the raincoat I'm about to put on. These are the boots. And they're a little short. They're easy to slip on and off. This is, I'm not like trying to sell you these, but I'm just saying, if you need rain boots, these below my hunter boots out of the water because those things I cannot get on it. I can get them on by myself. I can't get them off by myself. And then this Columbia rain jacket. I'm now a huge fan of Columbia. Anyway, okay. Putting those on and the laces just for show. It's all about the zipper. It's like the lazy woman's, which I am admittedly, um, perfect shoe. Although I do have to tie the laces, decorative as they may be. They do tighten them up a little bit and mine have come untied and I don't want to trip on my side shoelaces because that would be weird. All right, going to see a movie in the middle of the day. I never do this, so excited. Just got in from the movie, very cute movie. Um, very cute. I don't remember who recommended this, but I went and got Rowdy a birthday present. Somebody recommended this 
and I thank you, whoever you are. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Somebody said, best toy for a big dog who kills things, like toys, innocent toys, is a soccer ball. So I went to Target, picked up some more of my favorite coffee, caramel macchiato, Target brand. And I also got him a soccer ball. So I'm gonna put it on top of the fridge where he cannot get to it. I guess I don't have to wrap it because he can't see it. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna let the dogs out, but I just want to share that. Hopefully, he might like get his teeth in it, but he can't pop it or ruin it, like said hat. Why do I do this? Why did we get another wine runner? Why? Or kitchen towels. Yeah, loves eating the kitchen towels. Oh. Forgot, while I was at Target, should have picked up oven mitts. Did I mention he's eaten all of our oven mitts? Yeah, I think another year and then he slows down. Just one more year and he becomes bearable to live with. And you wonder why we crate him. You wonder? Good morning, uh-oh. Happy birthday, Rowdy. Happy birthday, you are one. Why won't you look directly at the camera? Rowdy. Hi, happy birthday. This used to be like a four foot long snake. Now it is not. So I think I know what we're getting you for your birthday today. Where's your snake? We've been playing fetch. It's not even 6.30 in the morning. Somebody's up and at them. Happy birthday. Yo, yo shorty, it's your birthday. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Maybe you'll learn. No, we do not eat antique law books. Rowdy. And we're still working on some things. This is your birthday present. Get it, get it. Yay! He's, he, yeah, he doesn't know what to do. Come here, Rowdy, show me the ball. Okay. Rowdy, you got a ball. You got a ball. Oh, you're playing soccer with your mouth. Yep, he loves it. It's soaking wet and it's raining. Uh oh, there goes the ball. And there goes Rowdy down the stairs. Where'd he go? Okay, sir, we gotta come back, Rowdy. We're gonna leash you up. You know how all the research said that soccer balls are pretty much indestructible? Mm hmm. Nope, I think we're done. We're done! You're done. You killed it. It's dead. There's pieces of it on the floor. Okay, we gotta take you to PetSmart and find something more suitable for a very active one-year-old Weimaraner. Unbelievable. Here comes the birthday boy. You ready to go find some fun things to chew on at PetSmart? Rowdy, can you sit? You don't ask him, you tell Good him. Good boy. Look right. at daddy. Watch me. Look at daddy. Rowdy, watch me. Good boy. Alright, let's go. Let's go find some Let's get him a toy and a hat and some stuff for his friends at home. Let's go. I want to find that birthday hat. So Westy, Rowdy's, no, I can't talk today. Wine runners are known, uh, part of the, one of the traits of the breed is they have a lovey, like a soft toy that they love and they nurture and they lick and they just snuggle with. Uh, Rowdy has yet to show that trait because that's not how you show love. I mean, not so much, anyway. It's officially dead. He has broken the neck. I think that cord has had it. So, he found that. It's only $5, so once he kills it and the stuffing's all over the house, then that's that. We also bought him a hat. Where'd the hat go? And we have some pictures of him. I will insert those pictures. It's actually probably going to be the thumbnail, but here's his little hat, which will also be saved for all the Westies to come. So everybody will wear this hat for the rest of the <laughs> duration of living with the Goldbergs. And we got them some treats. Did you hide them? Yeah, the best. Okay. And uh, you know, he's loving on it. The Westies are still locked up. He's licking it. He's oh, nope, still killing it. All right, it's birthday cake time. Rowdy, you're missing your birthday. Rowdy, we got him. We went to the bakery, you're bringing your bone, and we got him this birthday cake. We also got him a new bone at the pet store that Rowdy's playing with, dropping over and over. I don't know if Rowdy's gonna eat this whole thing. Rowdy! He hates it. 
Oh, Happy birthday. Oh, wait, we should birthday. sing. No, we're not singing. We love you guys too much. Westies, do not fear. You have a goodie bag. The Westies yes. are kind of chunky, so they don't get a lot. Okay, sit. Westies, sit. Hey, hey. Sit. No, Wrigley. Wrigley. Okay, I have the world's worst paved dogs. Everybody, sit. Good baby. Ah. This is proof that I have poorly trained dogs. Good. Okay. And I almost lost a finger. There we go. I have more. They're cranberry pumpkin gluten-free dog treats. Stop. Everybody gets a treat. Mommy's going to lose fingers. Rowdy's just carrying it around. You can eat it. You better eat it fast. Okay. Oh, I'm going to break this up because the Westies are going to steal that from him. Excuse me. Hey, guys. It is Thursday. I just got my hair done. Color. And, um... I have my eyeshadow done and foundation concealer, but that's it. So, because they washed my face, I didn't want them to wash all like bronzer. So I didn't even bother. So that's why I look pale. It's been a really not great start of the day. Shane's not doing great. And the doctor thinks his their medical therapy is not working. So, yeah, I'm just freaking out a little bit. Um... Anyway, so starting another round of steroids. We just finished a round of steroids. Kind of nervous about the next step, which is probably infusion therapy, which is a big scary step. Because if that doesn't work, this is not good. So there are worse things. Um, there are kids with a lot of worse problems. It's not life or death, but still scary. So pray. Okay, please, thank you. Um, anyway, it's hard when things are not great for your kids, you know? Anyway, um, I'm going to run to the grocery store to pick up his prescription, and then hopefully he's feeling a little better and we can get him, I know this sounds so shallow, they have a pep rally, a big pep rally tonight, and he really wanted to go. So, and team dinner tonight. So hopefully he's going to be feeling better enough to go to the team dinner and pep rally. Because, you know, you just want your kid to have as much of a normal everyday life as they can get. So that's the plan for today. And uh, that's what I hope to give him. So thank you for letting me just kind of like verbally vomit all over your day. And I'm going to get on with mine. See you in a little bit. Treats. 
And now we're gonna do our prayer circle and um, I think we're gonna do a prayer for Shane, which is really nice. And I'm gonna try not to cry. I'm just kind of feeling a little Hey guys, it's Friday and I totally didn't video because I've been busy helping set up this. Tomorrow night is our big 70s disco gala. I did not do this by myself, don't get me wrong. But um, we got the tables set up. Aren't these cute? These are the centerpieces. Tomorrow night it'll be dark, so you can't see this, but we got the cups made. And this is what the back looks like. Yeah. Isn't that cute. Let me place this back just so. We have our dice and our these light up, which will look much cooler in the dark. Like so. Some of them are numbered. Those are the reserve tables. The band will be up there. That room back there is where the silent auction items will be. Those will go in place tomorrow. We're not gonna leave them here overnight. Not a good idea. And they are setting up the sweet table. What area the goes over there. <laughs> Bathrooms are out that way. Um, casino tables will go back there. Anyway, that's everything. That's everything. So, anyway. Now, um, good news, Shane is feeling a little better. So he's at school today, um, but he's a little cold. So I don't know what that's about. I'm still thinking it's a bug. If he's feeling chilly, I feel like he's a little under the weather, which is more like a bug and not a flare up. So I'm gonna run him over a sweatshirt and see how that goes. So I will see you guys later. We are done with setup, at least I am. And that's it. See you in a little bit. Ready, 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 ready. Hi. Ready, 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 ready. Hi. All right, we have had an interesting day. Oh no, I'm already on, almost on, out of battery. Oh well. I will probably finish the evening on my iPhone, but we are on our way. Michael does not have his wig on yet, but he has his gold chains. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll insert full length pictures. We look ridiculous. Um, yeah, so this is how some people break the fast. No, I'm just kidding. We have had a very non-traditional Yom Kippur. Uh, obviously Shane was not feeling great. I'm still not convinced it was a full-on flare-up. I think it's a bug. Um, he actually went to school yesterday for a little while. You saw me actually leaving to go bring him a sweatshirt. The nurse ended up sending him home. He really wasn't feeling great. So we stayed home and let him rest and sleep. And then this morning we started our day again, taking him for some blood work. So he's feeling 100% better though. Good They're sign. The Higgs. They're the Higgs. <laughs> oh. They're just up a little bit. Oh, good. Um, so we are on our way to our annual gala. It is a 70s disco theme, hence our ridiculous outfits. And um, yeah, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And right now, Vegas is at the Elsevier Shrine Temple. So I'll see you when we get there. Party on, or whatever you say. I was, um, I was, I don't really, what do you say? Groovy, no, groovy? Yeah, groovy. I think that's I the think 60s. That could be more 60s, yeah. I don't even know. Is that them right there? <laughs> yep. <laughs> See you guys later.
had like six hours of sleep if I actually slept straight through uh, five hours, which yeah. I didn't because Mimi kept sleeping uh, on my no. head. We got a text from the president of the board saying, if any of you have embarrassing pictures from last night, please do the right thing. It was really funny. Post the them on social media. <laughs> president and the board and myself are both former military officers. and We were the ones that were dressed the most. Uh, out of regs. Out of, out of military regs in terms of hair and garments. You guys look like pimps. Yeah. He's awesome. Because you see that is when you're a military officer, you want to rebel when you're oh, no, not that's in the not military different. anymore. Um, anyway, so now it's Sunday, by the way. Um, I'm not hungover. Just make that very clear. And um, Michael and I are getting breakfast at a restaurant that is new to us. It's been around for a little while, and everyone's saying it's amazing. It's called Vida Mia. It's in Stone Oak, and I am craving chilaquiles, which is always a good breakfast to have the day after you may have had a little bit more to drink than usual. So, I really just drink one night a year, and it's at the gala. So there you go. I'll let you guys know. If you do not know what chilaquiles are, that's unfortunate for you. No, it's basically scrambled eggs. Honey, that's like, isn't that a handicap spot? No, it's open. Oh, sweet. Um, scrambled eggs, scrambled with corn tortilla chips, queso fresco, hmm. which is like white cheese, like hard white cheese. Um, green. I like the green chili sauce. Sometimes you put shredded chicken in it. I remember we used to go to New Mexico and they always ask you if you want green, green or red. I like that. Well, we used to hang It's good. So I might make it for dinner this week too. Um, we got to go back to Tamiya. Oh, just, just maybe you. I'm too tired to think about that. I, no I have to say my knees are killing me. Like killing me. I wore my old Elaine Turner like platform booties that are like six inches with the platform and I'm getting too old for dancing for hours on shoes like that. <sighs> All right, shall we, my love? I think we're ready. All right, and Michael's wearing his Ole Miss shirt, even though we got slaughtered last night, 66 to 3. Figure work. Okay, so change of plans. Uh, Vita Mia looked really good. So good, in fact, it was like a 30 minute wait. So we came up to our other favorite place, Aldaco's, and this is why we love it. One of the reasons, anyway. This pretty view, and fall weather is kicking in. It's only 80 degrees, October 1st. Did you say fall weather? Fall weather, 80 degrees. We're under 90. Woohoo! It's gonna be today. Fall weather. Uh, I think high is 85. Today. 87. 87. Oh lord. Fall weather. 87. Tomorrow, 88. <laughs> so over this, but start getting the come November, I'll be fine with that. I'll be laughing at the rest of you. Anyway, um, I had my plate of chilaquiles. Still feel like I've been run over by a truck across my legs. Uh, we hit the grocery store? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Then I might take a nap. Let's do it. Yeah. Might, might not happen, but I can always plan on it. A girl can hope.